Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitri channel. So today we are in Mexico once again. I mean, we're still in Mexico. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm in right now in the Chapultepec Park and this is the place that I definitely recommend anyone to visit when they visit in the capital Mexico City. And the reason why I just love this place is because, I mean, it's very social, you know, like it's very social, like many, many people around here and it feels like very, very alive. And um, I should say that it probably feels a bit different from the Western culture because there are many, many people, how to say, um, more people are socializing and there are much more street vendors around here. It feels like uh, they're like on every corner. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just love this place because of that, because it, it feels alive and with very large boulevards and they feel like you're walking in a very, very interesting location. But, but the thing is that you can also find uh, a place just to walk around just alone, just like I am right now, right? So, I mean, it's a huge park, very, very similar to what you can see in the Central Park. But at the same time, it just feels different from the Western culture. Like, very, very different, <laughs> in my opinion. And actually, there are activities for basically anyone. You can take uh, coffee in the Starbucks. There's a Starbucks right here. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice, beautiful location around there. There is also a botanical garden, which you, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this place. I have a video about botanical garden, but by the way, and go check it out. It feels like those two years just passed by and not much has changed in this place at least, which is great. So I just, man, this is like my number one location for walking around in Mexico City. Of course, there's also like Candesa, Roma Norte, Roma Sur and all those locations, but this one is just like top notch as well. And you can see those very wide boulevards right here, which I think is the main feature of this park. And honestly, it reminds me a bit of something that I saw in Eastern Europe and particularly Russia and the countries basically nearby. And it's very, very similar to that. I mean, probably just similar to Europe overall. Uh, you don't see much those kind of wide boulevards in America. I don't know why. Also, what I like about this place is basically you can take a boat ride and the boat rides there's a lake in the park itself so you can just take a boat ride there and I mean sometimes it's not very comfortable because it's very very sunny you know just like uh, right in your face but but still by the way check this out so there are garbage cans for every type of waste that you can have which is cool all right so where are we gonna go i think we're just gonna go straight zoologico is the place which is basically a zoo yeah i mean you can go check the zoo as well and by the way the zoo is free the zoo is free i mean just love this place so many entertainment for just like almost nothing but the main feature of the park is of course the Chapultepec castle I have a video about this one as well so go <laughs> check it out as well if you're interested also guys there used to be a residency of the president right here the Mexican president in the Chapultepec park it was called Las Piñas I think and but 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 the recent president just converted this place into the museum so it's no longer a residency of the president it's now a museum basically you can go check this out so yeah very very historical place in that sense and i see that many people are just like starting their day in this chapultepec park which is cool i mean this is the best way to start the day i think and guys as you can see this is also the place where a bunch of museums are located so which is cool typically i think normally you are able to visit them but i'm not sure about right now because in the current times nothing really is certain and you don't really know what's going on so i would not <laughs> probably i would not visit museums at this time all right so where should i go to be honest some kind of well the chapultepec contains of two parts and this park contains like part one and part two and i'm always this was wondering about part two and how to get there but always something was stopping me there is no like uh, pedestrian route that takes you from one place to another so I'm just gonna figure this out I guess and see if I can actually get there
all right guys thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel there will be much more new videos and i'm pretty sure you're enjoying those because you should you should be enjoying those <laughs> well i'm not sure well just uh, leave a comment down below what do you think about my adventures and about different topics not only travel but as well like it stuff all right and i'm just gonna keep enjoying these beautiful boulevards right here very wide where i can just like walk around for miles and enjoy this beautiful weather in mexico so thank you guys cheers Thank you.